there. Um, I wanted to do a sort of a follow-up video to the one I did on my uh, 198 kHz off-air frequency standard, which, if you've watched the video, you would know that it uh, produces a 10 megahertz output, which is phase-locked to the 198 kilohertz transmitter at Droidwich, which has got a highly stable frequency reference. So anyway, um, what I wanted to do was, I wanted to compare an, my off-air standard with my GPSDO to see what the difference in frequency was, um, if any. So I'm using my new GPSDO which has got a frequency readout on the front. Now my question is, where do they get this information? Where's, where does that frequency readout come from? How do I know it's exactly what it's saying? As you can see, it's got a resolution of 100 microhertz. But, you know, it's all a bit meaningless if you don't know how they're producing that frequency. But anyway, that's beside the point. So what I'm doing in this experiment, I've got two RF generators running. I've got the uh, Marconi 2022 set to 1 megahertz, and that's getting its external reference from my off air standard, homemade off air standard. And I'm using the other RF generator, is the Marconi 2024, and that's getting its external standard from the GPSDO and I'm displaying the outputs on the oscilloscope over here and although there are two traces they're actually in phase at the moment but it's taken them f three and a half hours basically to produce a phase difference of 360 degrees so it's a hell of a long time uh, I did try doing this at what a 10 megahertz this experiment but there's just too much jitter on my homemade uh, off-air standard because of the modulation and also the uh, well the audio modulation they put on the uh, radio 4 signal so um, as, I, as I said it's in phase at the moment it's taking three and a half hours to do 360 degrees of phase shift so I've done the, some calculations over here and as you can see when it focuses it's taken three and a half hours to do 360 degrees of phase shift. That's uh, 210 minutes which times 60 is 12,600 seconds for 360 degrees phase shift. And uh, if you take the inverse of that that equals 0 0.079 millihertz difference between the GPSDO and the off-air frequency standard which is not much it's a pretty small number but there still is a difference um, and that is the uh, frequency difference of 1 megahertz so at 10 megahertz it would be 0 0.793 millihertz difference which is interesting but um, I'm not sure which is more accurate the Radio 4 frequency or the uh, GPSDO but um, uh, interesting all the same another thing that's interesting is if I uh, focus back on the screen and move the uh, off-air standard into view if you move it around, you get a phase difference um, on the signal coming from the off-air standard. Now, all I can think is that you're actually creating a difference in a small difference in distance between you and the transmitter, which is about 30 miles from here. And that's just enough to give that time delay on the uh, signal. Anyway, I hope this is of some interest to somebody. It interests me anyway. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Bye for now.